Hey everybody, it's Ben's Room 45 Drives with another Tuesday Tech Tip. Today we're going to be talking about backing up VMs in Proxmox. Alright everybody, so it's kind of a continuation of a series of uh, Proxmox videos we've been doing here in the past little bit. Uh, so before we talked about making a Proxmox cluster, making VMs, making templates, making clones, things like that. And I mentioned we hardly scratched the surface of what Proxmox can do, and uh, I, was, I was truthful in that. So today we're going to be talking about backing up VMs. Uh, so we're going to look at my Proxmox environment again, that same test environment we were playing with earlier. Uh, but we're going to go over the integrated features within Proxmox uh, for how to back up a VM and, uh, to a file-based storage to allow you to recover that VM. So we'll hop into my little setup here and get started. All right, so here we are. Uh, like I said, the exact same environment we were in before, the test Prox 1, test Prox 2, and test Prox 3. So, why would you really want to do a backup within Proxmox itself? And really, the, the simple answer there is to have a solution that is all under one hood. So in order to do this, we're going to have to actually add in a storage target to use for this backup. A uh, thing to note with Proxmox backups is that they're file-based. It's in, in a VZ dump format. So it needs some type of file-based uh, storage to actually accommodate it. For me, I'm just going to use uh, SMB here, but we could use you know, anything else that we'd want to do. So I'm going to call this one uh, Video Proxmox Backup. We'll give it the IP address of the share that I'm going to be using. And just my username, password, of course. And then we'll select the share that we actually want to use. So I made this Prox Video Share earlier. Then kind of the most important part of this is the content uh, basically telling Proxmox what can actually be stored on this storage point. Uh, so currently it's set up as disk image, but we don't want disk images on this. We only want VZ dump uh, backup files. So we'll select that and we'll click Add. As you can see, we now have that storage point added. Um, we can see it's just populating out there. Let's give it a quick second. And there we go. So that storage is now available. Now we can see it has 104 terabytes. That SMB share is being serviced out by one of my uh, actual uh, clusters, my Ceph cluster on site. So actually backing up VMs. There's kind of two ways we can go about backing up VMs. We can either back up individual VMs or set up backup jobs. So to get started, we'll just show uh, individually backing up a VM. So I'm on this uh, Ubuntu backup test VM. I'll click the backup button, backup now, select the storage point I want to go to, so video Proxmox backup, and then the mode. So there's three modes that Proxmox can kind of take backups. Uh, they're kind of in the ascending order of speed. Uh, so snapshot is the fastest, but potentially has uh, some amount of data corruption that could occur. I've never personally seen it, but Proxmox warns that it's a possibility. Um, basically, snapshotting keeps the VM alive for pretty much the entire backup. You might have a millisecond or so of downtime. And then there's suspend and stop, which pretty much guarantee data integrity, uh, but we'll need to bring down the VM momentarily in order to actually create that backup. Uh, for the most part, though, just snapshot is fine. So we'll create a snapshot backup. And we can see we're immediately put into uh, Proxmox's kind of status. Now uh, we can see it's going ahead and creating the backup there. So we can watch its progress in real time if we wanted to. Um, of course, we don't want to, so we're just going to skip the head. All right, and we're back. You can see that 100% uh, complete. So the VM has been backed up. Uh, we, we can exit out of this window now. Now if we go to that VM and go to its backup tab, uh, we'll see that there are backups present. Right there. So we can see this uh, VZ dump, QEMU, the VM ID, so 102, and then the date that it occurred. So there's kind of two ways that we can uh, restore VMs in Proxmox. Uh, we can either restore it in place, like we can see here, where we're actually selecting the VM on its own backup tab and we click restore. Um, this is fine, but what it's going to do is essentially overwrite the VM. So it's, it's restoring it, but what you're really doing is clobbering the old VM and just spinning up a new one in its place. Um, that might not be great for a lot of purposes. For example, what if you just deleted a single file in your VM and you wanted to just pull back that file? Well, if you had to clobber over your entire VM, you don't know how long it's been since that VM has been backed up. So there's potential that you'll clobber over days worth of data, not something you really want to do. But because of that, Proxmox also allows you to make uh, a restore copy that is basically a clone. So all we have to do there is go to the actual storage. So in this case, this uh, video Proxmox backup. We click backup, we click restore. Uh, we'll select the storage, so RBD. And you can see here it's given it a new VM ID. 
It's on VM 103 now rather than 102. So we'll click Restore. And that's going to start rebuilding that VM, but as its own independent VM apart from that 102. So we still keep the state of that 102 VM. We just have a new one that has all the information we need. So again, we'll uh, skip through while it goes ahead and uh, restores it. You can see the little progress bar there. All right, we can see progress 100%. So that VM has been rebuilt or restored, whatever you'd like to call it. I'd think of it more as a copy than a true restore because the original copy still exists. But we can go ahead and start up that VM <coughs> and see that it is going to boot fine. Uh, it's booting into Ubuntu because it is a Ubuntu VM. So that's been a, a very quick overview of what backup looks like uh, within Proxmox using its uh, in UI based backup platform. Um, of course, as some of you may know, there is actually a, a dedicated Proxmox backup solution. They have their own backup server solution. Uh, we're not going to talk about that in this video. Uh, that's going to be the next one. So uh, keep around for that one. <laughs>